This is the fantastic story of how Thomas the Tank Engine came to live at his new home in California. The king that rules over Thomas's new land is a man called Zim, a friendly old chap who always dreamed of watching trains run through his kingdom. Once unpacked after his long trip to California, it was time for Thomas to take a tour of his new home. King Zim placed Thomas on the tracks and brought Thomas to life. Thomas started slowly at first, but it was just a matter of building up a little steam. It just takes a minute to get up to speed. Everything Thomas could see was new to him, so he kept glancing from left to right to take it all in. Heading down a long hallway, Thomas was in for a big surprise. Once he turned this corner, he'd have his first encounter with an entire roomful of new friends. The blue one is Amtrak, the green one is from Alaska's White Pass Railway, and the red one is the classic Santa Fe Super Chief. Thomas was certain that they'd all be best friends soon. This room used to be where the Prince of the Kingdom lived, but the Prince is all grown up now and moved away long ago, so now it houses the King's train collection. I guess I should introduce you to the two coaches that Thomas is pulling along with him. That's Annie right behind him and Clarabelle at the end. They are two of Thomas's most faithful, kind, and caring friends. This big 180 degree turn indicates we've reached the far west end of the kingdom. So we head back in the other direction and there is still plenty left for Thomas to explore. Back down the great hallway once again, Thomas wondered what was behind several closed doors. More trains? A dungeon perhaps? All Thomas knew is that the tracks didn't go in those rooms. The tracks led straight down the hallway and then into a big curve. At the curve, Thomas got his first look at a fantastic beast that roams the kingdom, although right now she looked like she was getting ready for a good nap. As Thomas approached a switch, it magically activated and diverted Thomas in a whole new direction, through the kitchen and past the queen. Queen Zim didn't offer Thomas a snack because she didn't know if trains like to eat or not, but she must not have thought it through. Of course he likes to eat. He's a choo-choo train. Next, Thomas got his first look around the garage where the queen parks her car. There's also a lot of trains out here and a tunnel, too. Thomas wondered when he was all done running today, would he be sleeping out here with the trains in the garage or with the others inside the house? Maybe if the king was very impressed with Thomas, he'd get to stay inside. Thomas decided to try to impress the king by speeding up to his very top speed for the rest of the way. Well, it was a good thing that Thomas picked up the pace because as the tracks took Thomas outside, there was a bit of a slope uphill. Thomas put all his energy into it and finally reached the top of the slope. Once he started down the other side, he was practically flying down the tracks. Then things got very pretty for a minute as Thomas briefly passed through part of the garden. He got a brief glimpse of a beautiful patio and then went right through the doggy door and into the house. Now Thomas was back in the king's living room where his journey had begun. He hadn't noticed it before, but this room has the largest video screen that Thomas had ever seen. Having made a full loop through the kingdom, it was time for Thomas to stop and rest. 
It had been a great introduction to his new home. He was looking forward to traveling down these tracks many more times in the weeks and months ahead. This is Jim Zim. Thanks for watching my video. Let me know if you liked it. Click the thumbs up button if you did, and the thumbs down button if you didn't. Here are some of my other YouTube videos that you might enjoy watching. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss any of my future model train videos. Thank you.